In this video, we'll find the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for Ni, that's nickel. So nickel has a number of isotopes. These are the five most common isotopes for nickel. And the only thing different about those are the number of neutrons. And because of that, the mass number is different too. We'll take a look at this later on though. So we'll start out by finding the atomic number. That's this number right here on the periodic table. The atomic number is 28. And that's the same for all of these isotopes. 28, it's nickel. The atomic number, that equals the number of protons. That's its definition. So if the atomic number is 28, we have 28 protons. We'll skip the neutrons for now and then come back to them. When we look at the electrons, on the periodic table, all of the elements are neutral. That means we don't see a negative or a positive sign after them. They're neutral because the number of protons equals the number of electrons. Protons are positive, electrons are negative, they balance out, they give us a neutral compound. So the number of protons in a neutral compound like Ni equals the number of electrons. So again, 28. With isotopes, the only thing that's gonna be different, that's the number of neutrons and the mass number. And in isotopic notation right here, nickel 58, that 58, that's the mass number. So we can write the mass numbers in for each one of these. Often when you're given tables like this, if you just have nickel, you're often given either neutrons or mass numbers, then you can figure the other item out. Here, since we have a mass number of 58, we know that the mass number equals protons plus neutrons. So protons plus neutrons gives us 58. 28 plus 30, that would give us 58. Likewise, 28 plus 32, that would give us 60. We could also say 61 minus 28, that would give us 33. Either way, you'll get the same answer there. So that's how you figure out the neutrons when you have mass number. If you're given the neutrons, you just add these two together. So if we had a sample of nickel, piece of nickel metal, all of these isotopes would be present, but most of it, about 68%, would be this nickel 58. Then we'd have other percentages for these other ones. When we add these all up and take the average, the weighted average based on the abundance, so most of it would be nickel 58, that's what gives us this average atomic mass here. So 58.69, that's the average atomic mass. And that's the average of these isotopes based on how much are present, the abundance. This is Dr. B with the protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for nickel, N-I. Thanks for watching.